Hello. Good evening, everyone. Everyone. Good evening, Miss. How are you doing tonight? I hope everybody is okay tonight. Good, good. Nice. Good, good night. Welcome, welcome everybody. This is your last class but one. It means the penultim, right? Today is the last class but one. Así se dice la, la penúltima clase. Last class but one, okay? Last class but one. All right. Um, how was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? Was it good? How was the prep, um, the preps for Christmas Eve? Are you prepared for Christmas Eve already? Are you prepared yet? ¿Ya están preparados para la fiesta de Navidad? Kind of. Yeah, more or less. All right. Uh -huh. Some people say so, so, even though it's better if you say more or less, right? Más o menos, yeah. Yeah, more or less. Kind of, near. <laughs> All right, well, I hope everybody is on the way of preparing everything and everything is going to be all right on Christmas Eve. So, uh, because it's a very special day, to we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus, right? So I think it's a very special date. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, all right, you, you don't, but um, we want to be happy that night, all right? We want to be happy that evening. All right, people, do you remember what were we talking about the last class? ¿Qué estábamos hablando en la clase pasada? Mm -hmm. The sports. Sports, yes, uh -huh. sports. And we were saying if, you like sports or you don't, right? We ask what sports do you like and what do you do in your free time, remember? Or what do you like doing in your free time? And we were saying some activities. Do you remember the activities? ¿Alguien recuerda las otras actividades que platicábamos? Hobbies. Hobbies, yes, hobbies, uh-huh. What kind of hobbies? Do you have a hobby? Do you have a hobby? What's your hobby? My hobby is cook. To cook, yay, good, good. That's a very good one. That's a very good one and very interesting, yeah. It has a lot of things to do. It's very busy too, and it's very expensive too. <laughs> yeah, all right. Because if you ruin it, you have to buy again. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Anita. My hobby is a uh, horse and um, class. Um, what do you see? Equitación? Uh, horses, horses. Um, imagine that I love to see this kind of, um, <clears throat> of uh, movies from the West. And right now I forgot the word. Just give me one second. It's the same. It's the same, but I just want to confirm, all right? <laughs> yeah horse riding but there is a there is a word horse riding mm, 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 mm. yeah it's equitation but i just wanted to say something more technique uh-huh yeah, because actually it's horse riding, right? Horse riding, but um, so you love horses. Yeah. Okay. I good. love it, horses. Oh, uh, really? It's a for horses. <laughs> really? Oh my god! I love it. Uh huh. Do you take classes then? Yeah. Nice. Nice. That's good. That's good. In a uh, in a town or here in San Salvador? Where, where do you live? 
is um, Santa Tecla. In Santa Tecla. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't know about it. Uh huh. Nice. That's nice. Mm, one second. Yeah, I was writing too. So let me say this, and I just want to listen to the pronoun. Yeah, but this equitation. One. Equitation. Equitation. That's the pronunciation. Equitation. Equitation. Even though in a common way we could say horse riding, horse riding. Okay, horse riding or horsemanship. Horsemanship too. Right. Horse. Horse, horse riding. Horse, horse riding. Horse riding. Yes. Equitation too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ms. All right. All right. Good. Okay. Is there anyone who wants to share the hobby? What's your hobby, Carla? My hobby is um, listening to music. Listening to music, all Listen right, music. good, good. Do you have a special kind of music that you like? Um, gospel. Gospel, oh, good, good, nice, interesting. What about you, Jacqueline? What do you like doing in your free time? Um, I think I listen. Uh -huh. I listen to music. Oh, all right. Good, good. Is there anyone here who likes to play instruments? No. No? No, I don't. Okay. Can you play any instrument? Is there anyone here who can play an instrument? Musical instrument? No? No? All right. Mm -hmm. I hope those that are as a listener, maybe they can play an instrument, maybe the piano. Can you play the guitar? Can you play the trumpet or the drums? Or can you play the flute? Is there any instrument you can play? No? Uh, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. No, I can't. Okay, okay. But uh, but you love music. That's important. You love music. All right, people. So now we are going to start a class uh, with a new topic. This new topic is to express the objective of these classes is that you will be able to express yourselves saying your abilities. All right, Deborah. Okay. Okay, no problem. Um, so we want to talk about our abilities because sometimes we want to do something, but we can't. Uh, or maybe there are things that we can do or things that we don't enjoy, but we can do them, right? For example, you can say, I can cook, but I don't enjoy cooking, right? Um, or I don't like cooking, but I can do it. I have the ability of doing that action, okay? Por ejemplo, podemos decir entonces que tenemos palabras, dos palabras, ¿verdad? Para utilizar, para poder expresar nuestras habilidades. Puede ser que hay, hay habilidades que tenemos, pero que no nos gustan, ¿verdad? I can do this, but I don't like it. Uh, o puede ser el lado contrario, ¿verdad? I like this, but I can't do it. Entonces, tenemos can and can't. Y esas dos, ¿verdad? que son exactamente la misma, solo que en negativo, el can, es para expresar lo que podemos hacer, lo que sabemos hacer y tenemos la habilidad para hacerlo. So, if you have a skill or if you have um, an ability for doing something, we use this short word, this little word, to express your ability, okay? Entonces, la palabra para expresar las habilidades es can. Y las que no podemos, o las 
que no son nuestras habilidades sería en negativo. Can not. Pero como lo contractamos, se dice can't. Yes, there you go. Y de una sola vez vamos a ver que la pronunciación es muy diferente en inglés americano que en inglés británico. Aquí en la plataforma hemos aprendido una forma fácil para nosotros porque nosotros en nuestro eh, idioma español, si no escuchamos esa T, nos confundimos, ¿verdad? Porque no tenemos ese T. Un glottal T es un, una T que se contrae, ¿verdad? Una T que no se pronuncia, pero está ahí y se siente ahí en la pronunciación. Pero para nosotros es más fácil entender cuando sí se oye can't, ¿ok? Ahora, no siempre lo vamos a oír y ahí es donde viene el reto para nosotros, ¿verdad? Ahí es donde viene el reto, aprender a diferenciar el can con el can't. Vemos que en americano es súper difícil comprenderlo cuando lo estamos escuchando. Pero a medida vamos en la práctica, mmm, se va a volver un poco más fácil. Por ahí les envié un video para que vean. Esa maestra es buenísima. She's a really good teacher of phonics, de fonética. Eh, phonetics. Y este, expresa muy bien en el inglés americano, cómo se debe pronunciar can't. Entonces, mi sugerencia es que lo practiquen y practiquen y lo anden diciendo y lo vuelvan a repetir y repítanlo y repítanlo. Cuando lo vengan a escuchar ustedes en películas, videos, wherever you want, eh, o en music, ustedes van a diferenciarlo, pero tienen que practicarlo diciéndolo en voz alta. Si usted no lo dice, nunca lo va a lograr desarrollar, ¿ok? Esa habilidad de diferenciar. Ok, bien. Vamos entonces. Vamos entonces a comenzar con el slide. <coughs> so yesterday we were, I'm sorry, when it was not yesterday. Last week on Friday, we were saying that uh, there are Sports we like, sports we don't like. Yeah. And the question was, what sports do you like? And maybe we like the sports, but we don't practice the sport, right? We don't practice the sport. Maybe because we don't have the ability or maybe because we just don't want to do it, right? So that's what we were saying last Friday. So now let's start by sharing this with you. Boom, ahí está. So here we go. We have some examples here. How to say things we can do and things that we cannot do. So it's not, it's less common, it's less common to listen to someone saying cannot, unless we are emphasizing the disability, okay? Emphasizing that not progress in that action, okay? Uh, usually we are going to listen can't instead of cannot, but we are going to try to make the difference, all right? I can do yoga, for example. I can do yoga. I can do yoga. Ahora, si se vean por acá, en el inglés americano quizás lo vamos a, 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 a practicar de aquí para allá, ¿ok? Aquí vamos a unir prácticamente estos dos. Y vamos a decir, I can. I can do yoga. I can do yoga. I can, I can, I can. Miren, I can do yoga. I can do the splits. I can do gymnastics. I can, I can. A ver todos. I can, I can, I can, I can. I can, I can. Yeah. I can. Yes. I, can. Mm -hmm. I can do yoga. I can do the splits. I can do gymnastics. No se trata de hacerlo rápido. Se trata de decirlo bien. Okay. 
Vamos a ver. I can do yoga. I can do yoga. I can yoga. I can do yoga. I can do yoga. I can do yoga. I can do yoga. Yes. I can do the splits. I can do the splits. I can do the splits. I can do splits. I can do gymnastics. I can do you mastic. I can do you mastic. Very gymnastic. good. What if can I can't? Mm -hmm. Yes. What if gymnastic. I can't? Gymnastic. Mm -hmm. What if you can? What if I can't? Then I can say, I can't do yoga. 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 Uh-huh. I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. Mm -hmm. I can't do yoga. Y vamos a ver en este. A ver, ¿quién puede decir esta? I can't do the split. I can't do, I can't I can't do the split. Uh -huh. I can't do the split. Do the split. Very good. I can't do the split. I can do the split. I can do the gymnastic. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Vamos a ver. Can I do yoga? Can, can I do yoga? Can, can I do, do yoga? yoga? Can you do the splits? Can you do the splits? Can you do the splits? Mm -hmm. Can you do gymnastics? Can you do gymnastics? Can you do gymnastics? Can you do gymnastics? Can Very do good. You do gymnastics. Very good, Erin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Si vemos acá tenemos las tres formas. Bye. Ahorita pongamos eh, en silencio todos. Please, everybody turn your microphone off. All right. Porque tenemos una repetición por ahí. Ok, veamos. Así es el afirmativo. The first one is the affirmative sentence. Then we have the negative form. And then we have the interrogative or question. This kind of question just requires a yes or no answer. And we are going to answer, can I do yoga? Yes, you can. Ye or no, you can't. Right? Vamos a escribir por acá. Esta pregunta es para contestar con sí o no, nada más. Entonces, contestamos, yes, I can. But if it is a negative answer, no, I can't. Okay? Yes, I can. No, I can't. And there we have. It. All right? The same here. Can you do the splits? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Vamos la siguiente. Can you do gymnastics? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Okay. No, I can't. Very good. Vamos a ver un poquito más adelante. Y veamos por acá. Aquí tenemos el uso. This is the usage of can for ability. For ability. We use can and can't to talk about someone's skill or general abilities. General abilities could be things that we are able to do and things maybe that you are supposed to do, okay? And for example, there are some abilities for a job position, right? There are some abilities, for example, that you show just intellectual, right? It could be not only with your body, not only physical, Maybe intellectual, right? Maybe emotionally, 
we can show abilities, different kind of abilities. It's not only with our bodies, right? It's general abilities. It could be intellectual. For example, you can be good at numbers, right? You can be good at numbers or you can teach very well, right? Or maybe you can uh, think fast, right? Or maybe you can memorize everything you see, right? So those are intellectual abilities. It's not abilities with my body. It's abilities in general, right? Then we have, for example, these sentences. She can speak several languages. She can speak several languages. Vamos a ver la siguiente. He can swim like a fish. He can swim like a fish. They can't dance very well. They can't dance very well. He can't walk, but he can play tennis, right? She can speak several languages. He can swim like a fish. They can't dance very well. He can't walk, but he can play tennis. All right, who wants to read the first one? ¿Quién quiere leer la primera? Yo. Okay, please. Uh, all right. She can, she can speak several lingu language. Languages, languages. Uh, languages. Very languages. good, Jamie, yes. A ver, okay. digámosla toda desde el principio, Jamie. Okay. A ver, she can speak. She can speak. Several languages. Several languages. Very good. She, she can speak several languages. Excellent, Jamie, yes. Okay. Cuando unimos una palabra que tiene una letra S al inicio, no le ponemos la letra E para pronunciar. Hoy en todos, todos, esta es una para todos. Normalmente nosotros le queremos decir aquí, miren, speak, decimos nosotros, y no es correcto. Aquí debemos decir can speak, can, can, ¿ok? ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Sí. Okay, thank you, Jamie. I wanted to erase this thing and I can't. I'm not able to do it for some reason. Okay, I will erase everything. All right. Who wants to read the second one? Yeah. Please do. He can swim like a fish. Very good, Carla. He can. He can swim like a fish. Very good. Very good. Who wants to read the next one? Mm -hmm. No tengan miedo, miren. Very good, ajá, ajá. Muy bien, ahorita no, no tengan miedo de que no nos salga la pronunciación exacta. ¿Verdad? Ahorita tratemos de que si nos sale la T, ok, digámosla y digámosla tal como nos suena. Poco a poco van a ir afinando esa pronunciación, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, can you please repeat it? Yo? Yes, please. They can't dance very well. Very good, very good. Okay, and the last one. Who wants to read the last one? Yo. Please, Valeria, go ahead. He can't walk, but he can play tennis. Very good, very good. He can't walk, but he can play tennis. Very good. All right. So here we can say, uh, notice something, okay? Notemos por acá lo que no podemos hacer, pero luego decimos lo que sí podemos hacer, ¿verdad? Usamos esta palabra but. But significa pero, ¿ok? Esta palabra significa pero y nos ayuda a contrastar, a contrastar eh, lo que no con lo que sí, ¿verdad? En este caso, 
Yo no puedo esto, pero puedo esto. ¿Ok? Ahora, si yo pudiera hacer dos cosas, yo digo and en vez de but. Por ejemplo, I can walk and I can play tennis. ¿Ok? Dos cosas que sí puedo hacer. Ahí sí sería con and. Ok, vamos a ver entonces la siguiente. What sports can you play? What sports can you play? A ver. What sports can you play, Luis Galdames? Ah, perdón, Miss, no estaba poniendo atención. Okay. Bien. What sports can you play? No, tampoco sabría responderle, no presto atención absolutamente nada, perdón. Ah, uh, ok. Uh, lo que me refiero es qué deportes usted puede jugar. What sports can you play? I'm playing soccer. Ok, I can play soccer. I Very can, good. I can play soccer. Nice. Adiel, what sports can you play? I can play soccer. Very good. Mm -hmm. A ver, vamos a ver. Helen Tatiana, I don't know if you're available there. What sports can you play? I do can uh, tennis. Ok, entonces sería I can play tennis. I can play tennis. I can play I tennis. I can play tennis. Good. Um, vamos a ver, Andrea. What sports can you play? Jessica. What sports can you play? I can't sport. <laughs> oh, you can't. I can't play any sport. Ah, esa, esa es una buena respuesta. Miren, así, miren. I, así. I can't play any sport. Okay. No. I can't play any sport. Yo no puedo hacer ningún deporte. No puedo. <laughs> <risa> ok, a veces decimos quién por habilidad del cuerpo, pero realmente a veces es quién por habilidad del cuerpo y saber las reglas, ¿verdad? Saber cómo se juega, que es un poco diferente, ¿verdad? A veces sabemos cómo se juega, pero no sabemos, eh, no tenemos la habilidad para jugarlo, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a ver. A ver, a ver, a ver. Mm, Lenin. Vamos a empezar a leer estas preguntas que están acá. Miren, tenemos una que dice ahí, Can you run fast? Ajá. Can you run fast? Ajá. Puede correr rápido. Can you run fast? Can you catch a ball? Oh, ok. Usted me va a ayudar a leerlas. Muy bien. Can you throw the ball? Can you throw the ball? Next one. Sigamos leyendo, Lenny. Okay. Can you pitch? Very good. Can you train the team? La siguiente. Can you cheer on the team? Uh -huh. Can you score goals in the next one? Can you play as goal? Um, goalkeeper. Goal goalkeeper. Goalkeeper. Goal Can Bye. you play as goalkeeper? Very good. Bye. Vamos a ver qué es cada una, ¿ok? Can you run fast? Le estoy preguntando si hace lo que hace este muchacho así rápido, ¿eh? Can you run fast? ¿Usted corre rápido? ¿Puede correr rápido? Walter, can you run fast? I can. You run fast. <laughs> I, I can't I run can't. fast anymore. <laughs> Only when I was a child. Cuando era un chiquitito así, ¿verdad? Okay. <laughs> okay. Can you catch a ball, Yanira? Can you catch a ball? ¿Puede cachar la pelota? Can you catch a ball? Yes. 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 All right. Can you throw the ball, Mercy? ¿Puede tirar, hacer pases, tirar la pelota? 
Merci. Yes, I can. Yes, you can. All right. Very good. Can you pitch, Carla Elizabeth? Can you pitch? Puede pichar, <laughs> lanzar la pelota. No, I can't. Okay. Can you train the team, Jacqueline? Ah, uh, no, I can't. Okay. A ver, esta sí todas podemos, todos podemos. Can you cheer on the team? Todos le podemos hacer porras al equipo. Can you cheer on the team? Yes, we can. Yes, yes we can. Yeah, all right. Uh -huh. Bueno, entonces pues sí. nos vamos a yes, la porra, Walter. <laughs> yes, I can. Yes, we can, right? Walter, ¿verdad que sí? Ahí sí, ¿verdad? Yeah, very good. <laughs> Con la voz que tiene nos ayuda. Perfecto. Yes, very good. Can you score goals? A ver, Adiel, can you score goals? ¿Anota goles usted? No, I can't. No. Oh, I thought you were going to say yes, I score goals. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, but, but you throw the ball. I mean, you kick the ball and pass it to, I mean, to, to, to your, um, your partner scores the goal. Can you do that? Uh, yes, I can. All right, all right, nice. Can you play as, I'm sorry, can you play as a goalkeeper, Luis? Can you play as a goalkeeper? Puede jugar como portero. Um. Uh -huh. uh, no, I can uh, goalkeeper. Pero lo duda, o sea que sí, tal vez podría, vea, la haría, la haría, o, o sería, ¿cómo se llama? Gol saca gol. Por lo general siempre me van a la cara. Así que... Oh, sorry to hear that. Ok, ok. Well, no, I can't. No, I can't. That will be the answer. All right. Ah, una, una pregunta, no. ¿cómo se pronuncia? ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa última palabra? Goalkeeper. Ah, eso es lo. Ah, goalkeeper, así, así como se escucha. Goalkeeper. Goalkeeper. Uh -huh. Ese es el portero. Yeah. Portero. ¿Sí? Gracias. Like el Dibu, right? <laughs> You. Yay, the hero. <laughs> yeah, he's our hero tonight. Yeah, he is a world hero now. <laughs> El Tibu. <laughs> All right. So I have a question. I have a question to share. Tell me, tell me. Uh, you like uh, uh, football? Yes, of course I do. I uh, do. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, do. I don't understand very much. I don't know very well, but uh i have played in school i have played in school but i don't remember the rules what i do like is to watch the world cup ese sí no me lo pierdo eso me encanta the world cup uh -huh. el mundial. <laughs> excellent yeah <laughs> see i love to watch the world cup with my husband yeah he loves it. Right. Your husband, your, her, your husband likes football, soccer. Yes, he loves it. Oh, my mm -hmm. goodness. Yeah, he loves it. And my dad, my dad was a football soccer player. Ah, uh, he's practic. He's practic. Yeah, but now he, you know, he's retired. But he didn't play as a pro, but in his company, in La Constancia, he played a lot. I mean, with the mm -hmm. team from there. Yeah, Excellent. when he was young, when he was young. So I remember that he played football okay. and uh, that's why we like football, right? That is why. Okay, people, and my brothers, my brothers too. <laughs> so everybody here likes soccer. All right, so now we can see some actions here. Aquí podemos ver algunas acciones, veamos. ¿Cuáles verbos encontramos acá? A ver, busquemos el verbo. Vamos a ver. Run. Run. Can. Can. Catch. Catch. Yeah. Catch. Strong. Is it? Strong. 
Throw. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, play. Play, yes. Uh -huh. A ver, otro verbo. Vamos a ver, ubiquemos todos los verbos que hay. Teach is another verb. Train is another verb. Cheer on, Cheer. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Score. Score, it's another verb, yes. No, not, not yeah. a verb. Yes, it is. Oh. Yes. Yes, it is. It's a verb. Anotar. Anotar o anotación. Anotar. Nena. Como verbo sería anotar. Mm -hmm. Marcar goles, anotar goles, ¿ok? Entonces, veamos la posición del verbo en una pregunta, ¿ok? En una pregunta de sí y no. ¿En dónde vamos a decir la acción? Vamos a usar primero el can, ¿verdad? El can lo tenemos al principio, miren. Luego tenemos el sujeto, or the subject. Luego tenemos el verbo. ¿Y el verbo va a ir en qué forma? En su forma base. Vamos a usar quien para todos los pronombres. For all the pronouns. We are going to use can for he, can for he, she, can for it, can for you, can for we. Okay. All the pronouns will use can or can. Okay. Ahí van a usar can or can. Todos los pronombres no cambian. No hay otra forma del can para los tercera persona. Y tampoco le vamos a agregar letra S al verbo, ¿verdad? Sino que va a ser en forma base, ¿ok? Y vamos a contestar este tipo de preguntas con Yes, I can, or No, I can't, or Yes, she can, or No, she can, ¿ok? Bien, vamos a ver. This is the... Let me just see if it is complete. ¿Ok? Acá tenemos entonces que también no solo es para los deportes, ¿verdad? Sino que para otros tipos de acciones también que nosotros tengamos la habilidad de hacer. ¿Ok? For example, we say, can you sing? Can you sing? ¿Puede cantar? A ver, Jacqueline, can you sing? Valeria, can you sing? No, I can't. <laughs> ah, para que no las ponga a cantar, me dicen que no, ¿verdad? De cantar lindo. Ajá, ajá, ajá. ya las vi. <laughs> a ver, vamos a ver. Can you put up decorations? ¿Pueden decorar? ¿Saben decorar? Yes, I can. All right, all right. Uh -huh. What about you, Catherine Marielos? Can you put up decorations? Um, I can soup of chicken, soup the meat, and soup um, camarones, como se dice? Ah, shrimp, shrimp. Ah, pero usted me está diciendo cook. Cook uh -huh. es, ajá, cook es la siguiente, ok? Ah, oh, no, decoration, uh -huh. um, uh -huh. sometimes. A veces. Ok, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Very good, but, very good. Uh -huh. But can, I can cook, but uh -huh. no, o sea, sí puedo cocinar, pero no, no tan profesionalmente. Ah, entonces se puede decir, I can cook, but not very well. But uh, not I very can, well. Uh -huh. I can cook, but no. Can very, very well. well. Uh -huh. can very but, well. No, así. But not but, very but, well. Very well. Uh -huh. Lo voy a poner acá para que lo ubique. Uh -huh. But not but very not well. Very well. Ajá, uh -huh. yo puedo poner aquí. I can cook, but not very well. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can cook, but not very well. Yes, but not very well. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. A ver, yo ya les había est hecho esta pregunta. Can you play an instrument? Can you play an instrument? 
a musical instrument? No, I can't. No, I can't. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Vamos a ver. La última pregunta. Can you eat fast? Can you eat fast? Pueden comer rápido, así que tragado, ¿eh? swallowed. Ajá. Uh -huh. Can you eat fast? I get sick if I eat fast, so I can't. I can't eat very fast. I have to eat slow, slow. If I eat fast, I get sick. I get sick, yeah. Mm, what about you? Can you eat fast? Yes, I can. Okay. Yes, A la mamá así nos toca. <laughs> yes, I know, I know, but I have to wait for everybody to eat, and then at, at the end, at the end of everybody, then I sit down, and everybody knows that they don't have to bother me while I'm eating. Yeah, that's my rule, that's my rule, esa es mi regla, yo les digo no, ¿saben qué? Voy a comer yo de último, pero nadie me moleste hasta que yo finalice, ¿verdad? Sí, lo puse como regla porque si no, no comía. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Pero ahora como mucho. <ríe> yeah. Ahora sí se me nota que ya, ya estoy bien repuestita, vea. <ríe> ok, people. Now, vamos entonces al manual. Ok. En el manual tenemos algunas cosas muy interesantes. Very interesting. Bien. Creo que estoy un poquito hacia un lado, pero ahí va a salir. Por ahí tenemos un ejercicio. Kyla creo que se llama esta niña, ¿verdad? Yeah. Kyla is talking about things that she can do and, she, and things that she can't. Entonces, vamos a completar estas oraciones de acuerdo a la figura, ¿ok? Veamos. What do you think? Así, solo de lo que vemos, nada más. ¿Ok? En the first one we have the example. I can't draw. Vamos a ver la siguiente. What do you think? Can. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. What about number two? I can't see. Yes. I can't. All right. Uh huh. Okay. What about this one? I can't fit cards. All right. What about here? Number five. I can't. I can't, I can't play. Can't. Yeah. Huh? What about ice cake? <laughs> I can't. Okay, I can't. Uh huh. A ver, en esta? I can. I can. I can. All right. I can't play the piano, right? What about the last one, number eight? Can't. I can't. Okay. I can't. Ok, ahora leámoslas, leamos, vamos a ver. I can't draw, I can't draw. I can't draw. I cannot, I cannot. I cannot. I can't sing. I can't sing. I can't fix cars. I can fix cars. I can fix cars. I can fix cars. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can't, can't play tennis. Car. I can't play tennis. I can't. I skate very well. 
I can. I can very well. I can play the I, piano. I can play I the piano. Can pla play I can play the piano. piano. I can't cook. I can I can I cook. I can't cook. I can't cook. At all significa para nada. Ok, at all. Cuando usted le pone at all al final algo, es que yo no puedo hacer algo, pero at all quiere decir para nada. Ok. ¿Y no cómo se escribe? Así, ahorita. Uh -huh. ay, 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 vamos a ver si me funciona. Ay, 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 permítanme, permítanme para que no se me vayan todos. Estamos y sería así. Adol. Okay. Vamos a escribir la completa la oración que sería I can't cook at all. Okay. No puedo cocinar, pero para nada. Okay. That's at all. I can't cook at all. I can't cook at all. Right. Can't. La pronunciación oh. es arou, 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 yes, arou, con L al final, arou, arou, yes, <risa> si quiere pronunciarlo como libro no hay problema, puede decir así, mire, at all, ok, at all, at all, yes, uh -huh. at all, eso es pronunciando palabra por palabra, ya haciendo la unión, aro. ¿Ok? Ok. Bien, entonces, si puede ser, I can't sing at all, right? I can't sing. At all. Ok. Ahora, vamos a ver entonces. Vamos a escribir dos cosas que nosotros podemos hacer, que son como nuestros talentos, our talents or our abilities. Talents normalmente los orientamos a artes, a cultura, ¿verdad? Y o a ciencias, ¿verdad? Pero también puede ser un talent los deportes, ¿verdad? Hay muchos deportistas que son talentosos, ¿verdad? Pero también está abilities. Abilities son las que desarrollamos, ¿verdad? Que vamos adquiriendo abilities. Y está la otra palabra que se llama skills. Esas son las que vamos desarrollando, ¿ok? Esas son las que vamos adquiriendo. Skills. Las vamos formando, ¿ok? Entonces, vamos a ver ahorita. Two things that you can do very well, ¿ok? Dos cosas que ustedes pueden hacer bien, que nadie les gana. You are the champions on doing that. A ver, on the chat, everybody. Oh, thank you, Andrea. And you are right. En lo que ustedes están pensando, estas dos cosas que sí pueden hacer y dos cosas que no pueden hacer. Ok, dos cosas que pueden hacer y dos que no pueden hacer. Me voy a ir a tomar la lista. Ok, I will call the attendance. So please, everybody, remember to turn your camera on. And when you hear your name, you have to stay present. Adiel Ernesto Guardado Galdames. Present. All right. Adriana Araceli Montoya López. Andrea Natalia Rivas Portillo. Present. Débora Roxé Guzmán Cornejo. Gerardo Present. Al... Thank you, Débora. Gerardo Alberto Arevalo Pleites. Helen Tatiana Chávez Moreira. Present. Right. Irving Alirio Alvarado Hernández. Present. Jacqueline Vanessa Quijada López. Jamie Diana Amaya Alvarado, ok. 
Jessica Carolina Reyes Ramírez. Jessica Virginia Rosales Sánchez. Present. José Stanley Cortés Rivera. Carla Elizabeth Gómez. Present. Catherine María Los Meléndez Villegas. Present. Catherine Yesenia Reyes Chacón. Present. Lenin Hernández de Mengiva. Luis José Guardado Galdames. Present. Mercy Esther Blanco Viera. Rosa Yanira Calderón. Sebastián Edgardo Martínez Sánchez. Present. Ok. Valeria del Carmen Alfaro Beltranena. Walter Antonio García Madrid. Present. Walter Bernal Martínez. Present. Right. Tell me, José Stanley. Mm -hmm. eh, no sé si me mencionó, es que me estaba hablando mi mamá, creo que ahí fue. Okay. Pero sí, aquí estoy ya. Ok. Ok, I checked you already. In already. Mm -hmm. A ver, tenemos por ahí, I can cook, I can swim, I can't sing, I can't play soccer. I can cook, I can play any sport, I can't dance, all right. I can sing, I can't play tennis, very good. I can dance, I can cook, I can't play tennis, I can't play soccer, very good, very good. So now we know how to say the things that we have the ability or the things that we have the skill, right? Sometimes we take classes to develop these skills. For example, when we are learning English, right? Can you speak English? Can you speak English? Yes, I can, right? Or no, I can't. I can decorate pot for parties, okay? Mm -hmm. Very good. Ahí sería decorate, así, decorate, okay? Siempre después del can va un verbo en forma base, ¿ok? Decorations es nombre, es un noun. Entonces, no, ahí tiene que ser un verbo. Uh -huh. Después del can va un verbo, todos. Hoy, siempre, siempre, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Um... <risas> Perdón, ahí estaba. Ajá, ok, hoy sí. De correcto. Oh, very good. I can do crafts. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Decorative. Was it? Decorate. Oh. Decorate. Mm -hmm. Then we have hand craft. Like that. Handicraft or hand craft. Okay. Mm -hmm. Craft is good. Craft is good. Handcraft son cosas solo hechas a mano, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. All right, people. Now, ¿cómo hacemos las preguntas con WH words? Utilizamos las mismas. A ver, ¿cuáles son las W WH word? What? What? Where? Where? When? Uh -huh. When? Mm -hmm. Where? Mm -hmm. Where? Okay. Who? Who? Right. Yes, who. Ahora yo les podría preguntar. Who can cook in your house? Who can cook in your family? Who can cook in your house? A ver. I... Ajá. I cook... I can... Rice, fish, 
and okay, fish. Okay, very good, Catherine. Uh -huh. uh, A ¿Quién ver? cocina, dijo? Algo sí, sí. Así. ¿Quién? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Who can cook in I, your every house? Day. No como todos los días, every day. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I can cook. Uh -huh. And I cook every day. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And my sister. My sister can cook. Can she do it very well? Um, I can cook my mother, sister, oh, 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 oh. and my father. <laughs> okay. Ay, verdad es he. Ok, vaya, Katherine, vamos a ordenar la oración, ok? I soy yo, ¿verdad? Y si yo digo I can cook, yo voy a decir yo puedo cocinar. Ahora, si yo digo I can cook my sister, my mom, estoy diciendo yo puedo cocinar a mi mamá o a mi hermana. <risa> Ajá, entonces sí, tiene que ser tira. al revés, ¿verdad? My, my mom. mom, yes, my mom, my mom can, can cook. cook. My, my sister, sister can, cook. can cook, yes, correct, Catherine. My There. father can cook. Yes. <risa> ajá, ajá, great. Así, Catherine, muy bien. Siempre acordémonos que la persona que realiza la acción es la que va primero, ¿verdad? Ese es el sujeto de la oración. Luego va el quien, después va el verbo en forma base, ¿verdad? Y entonces cook es en forma base. Ok. Y para dar respuesta a esa pregunta que acaba de, de poner ahorita, ¿se podría decir, yes, she can? Correct. Correct. Porque ahí no hay ninguna pregunta de información, ¿verdad? Sino que de un solo hasta el quién es una pregunta directa, solo es de sí o de no. Y contestamos sí con yes, she can or no, she can't. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Is there any questions so far? ¿Hay alguna pregunta hasta este momento? ¿No hay preguntas? Ok, entonces yo les voy a hacer una última pregunta, ok? Vamos a ver. De los que están presentes, ¿verdad? Who can bake a cake? Who can bake a cake? A ver. Who can bake a cake? No, I can't. Okay, then. Uh -huh. Lenny, no. can you make a cake? Walter? No, I can't. Okay. Lenny, you said something. I don't remember if you were. Uh huh. Who can bake a cake? My mother can a cake, but can bake a cake. I not can. Uh, but I no, can. I can. I can't. I see. Mire, my mother can bake a cake, mm -hmm. but I can't. Okay, my okay. mother can bake a cake, but I can't. Oh, I good, Valeria. I, I can cook cheesecake. Mm, we want to try it. I can cook. No, pero ¿cómo sería? I bake. can. Bake. I can cook. 
el plan napolitano. Ah, ok, ok, plan. Ajá. Ajá. Plan o oh, napolitan plan. Va, así, I can cook napolitan plan. Ok, nice. Interesting, interesting. Uh -huh. Can you bake cookies? Can you bake cookies? Yes, I can. Okay, Mercy. Uh -huh. Very no. good. I'm, no, I, I can't. can't. No, I can't. Uh, but my mom can't. Can, can. Can, can. All right. All my mom right. can. But I can't. Excellent. Very good. <laughs> poco a poco voy a ir aprendiendo. Yes, there you go. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, people, then we stop here and let us meet tomorrow. Tomorrow will be our last class. So please be prepared for our picture. Nos vamos a tomar una foto, así que tomémonos una foto bien bonitos mañana, ¿verdad? Así que, que sería como la de graduación mañana, ¿verdad? <laughs> Entonces, nos vemos. See you tomorrow. Have a very good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank See you, you, Miss. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone. Have a, have a good night. Happy watching.